was still 18. Hi, I'm Shelly Coley. I'm a singer-songwriter from Conroe, Texas, and I'm about to release my third studio project called Songs Without Bridges, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about it. And I realized I had this group of songs that was just very vulnerable in nature, and um, I think very meaningful to me, uh, songs about my relationship with my mom and my kids and my music community and um, I wanted the music to feel as vulnerable and intimate as the lyrics so um, we said oh we'll make an acoustic project and my producer Jeffrey said um, you know we started brainstorming about what we wanted to do and I said I think this is like a, an unproduced record you know <laughs> and and not a lot of layers and lush guitars and pianos and stuff and so um, I played all of the guitars on there and did most of the background vocals. You can hear my ring knocking against the guitar and the neck of the guitar squeaking and, and I just questioned myself every second of the way to make it better and fix everything. But I think that the lyrics in this collection of songs are vulnerable and I wanted the music to be able to match the same feeling of this record. Before my eyes and free from a breaking heart as I watch him try to I really wanted to do a record that felt more like the live performances that I'm used to doing. Most of the experiences that I have on stages are just me and my guitar and um, more of a small room of people, whether it's a house concert or a listening room or a small church group. I love to tell the story that goes with the song because I think that it creates an opportunity for sort of a two-way conversation to happen within music. And my hope always is that somebody will see a little bit of themselves in my songs and not um, feel like I'm preaching at them or saying, hey, this is the way or this is the answer, but that they'll say, oh my gosh, I totally have felt like that. Um, and that they will have an opportunity to maybe experience a little bit of healing from knowing that someone else has gone through a similar experience. Makes me free to tell stories with my guitar. So I got, I got pretty um, frustrated with music about my faith and spirituality for a long time, almost like pushed it aside. And then when I started making records again, really making records, um, I realized that even the songs that weren't specifically about God or Jesus or even my spirituality, like specifically about that, I realized that the undertone under most of the music I was writing was about spirituality. Whether it's about money or your faith or your kids or your relationship with your parents. It's all, it's all at the heart of it, I think, a spiritual conversation going on about who am I, where am I, what am I doing <laughs> in all this mess, you know? And, and so that's really the conversation of these songs is feeling a little bit like you don't, you don't know what you're doing or where you're going, but you have this like surrounding love around you with this community of people that you're in. And, and that I think that that's, these songs celebrate that, the people who I walk with in my life. and experience life with so but sometimes I wish I was still 18